What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American, back with a question from Twitter. Now, I hope this time my microphone doesn't sound like I'm speaking through a Coke can. I don't know why that is. I've got this Blue Yeti. Change some of the settings. Hopefully, it sounds better. So I'm going to try and interpret this question as best as I can and then answer it as best as I can. You know, one of the things they say, you know, uh, <laughs> if you're Muslim, they say when you ask a question to Ahlul Ilm, you have to ask the question properly so you can get the proper answer. And so I'm not really sure what he's asking here, but I think I know. And so I'll try and answer it. So he says, once upon a time, you tweeted that it's a man's fault if his attempts at a relationship with ladies fail, given how he failed. Full stop, I think. Given how desperate women were to be in a relationship from your travels, not really sure what that means, I thought I sought a few pointers from you. If you please, since it's been quite hectic with me and them. Thanks for responding. I, I, I guess he's saying he's seeking some pointers from me. Um, so I'm just going to really generalize this answer. <clears throat> Everything in a relationship with a woman is your fault. Women have no accountability. It's an internet meme and a joke at this point. You know, you see the memes where it shows like, you know, a woman finally gets accountability and she's like, you know, laid out on a stretcher in the hospital dying because she finally got accountability. Uh, you know, the idea is that accountability will kill women. They're, they're not really accountable creatures. They will not own their BS. That's our job as men. Now, here's the thing. And I say this all the time. I used to say this on the YouTube channel. If you watch the YouTube channel, this is going to go up on X and this is going to go up on YouTube also. Um, but I'm going to try and focus on X a little bit, see if I can figure out this little, you know, money thing they got going on here. Women at the end of a relationship always make you out to be a bad guy. It doesn't matter how good of a guy you were in a relationship, you're going to end up being the bad guy. You could be the most quote unquote perfect man according to Western standards and ideologies, feminist, non-feminist, whatever else, whatever women say they want. And when she's tired and done with you, you're going to be the bad guy. And they're going to come up with all sorts of stories as to why you're the bad guy and why it's all your fault and not her fault, even though the relationship could technically have failed because of her and her poor actions and behaviors, which is a lot of a lot of the times is the case when we really look closely and deeply. But Western society has come to you know a position where it's like it's just always the man's fault. And I kind of agree. <clears throat> now, here's the here's the flip side of this. <clears throat> one thing that they don't tell talk about in this entire sphere of you know relationships men and women talk is that this entire you become the bad guy works conversely you see so when you are that man to her that same delusion of you being a bad guy that same delusion makes you a good guy so you become this great amazing guy that you might not actually be but because of her delusion because it works both ways she really beats you up, talks great about you, thinks great. The small things that you do, oh, he bought me a pack of M&Ms, you know, and all this type of stuff. She really finds it amazing. This is why you have those guys that are never amazing. And they take them out to expensive dinners, bring flowers, chocolates, this, that, and whatever else. And they're never going to get the props because they're constantly in like qualifying slash bad guy mode. Maybe they're not bad guys, but you might as well be one if she's not fawning over you. This is why people are always shocked and mad when they see photos of my women tying my shoes or whatever else. I'm in that zone where they are delusional, good and happy about me. And at some point, it could be the case that when a relationship fails, if it does, male law protects from that, that I'll come out, I'll turn out to be the bad guy. And then, you know, so accountability is always yours. Because her delusion, her lack of accountability, it goes both ways in terms of like the good and the bad. You can't count on her to like be accountable. So you have to be accountable. Now, where does your accountability start? Your accountability starts and people say, oh, you can't bet for a relationship. Yes, you can. You can too. Look at this guy, Dylan Dennis, and how he's dishing it out on, on, on Logan Paul's woman. Tell me that you can't bet for a relationship here. Guys like, oh, he's crazy. Why is he going to a relationship with her? And then the same guys will say, oh, you can't bet for a relationship. That's an automatic disqualifier. So you can actually narrow this down and go deeper into, you know, um, <clears throat> more traits that we understand from study of female behavior in this sphere that would, that would and should, for most men, if you're not thirsty, would become disqualifiers. But if you don't do that homework, 
if you don't really look into it, if you don't really push your buttons before you go into a marriage, because I take it you're Muslim, because you said salam alaikum, so alaikum salam to the coffee. If you don't really push your buttons to see, like, you know, her responses and her reactions to specific inputs, whose fault is that when you go into the relationship with her blind and then daily life starts and daily relationship starts and she starts responding very poorly? Did you do due diligence? No. You'll, you'll do <clears throat> a background check on your cars, investment companies. You'll do background checks on the, on a house you want to buy. You'll call in uh, a good actor. What is that in English? Uh, uh, an appraiser, an inspector. You'll have all this stuff checked out, but the woman you're just going to marry because she'll let you smell the back of her kneecap? No, nah, it's your fault. You let that person into your life. Own it. You didn't do your homework. You didn't do due diligence. That's your fault. You did it for your car. You didn't just go and buy the first car. You said, oh, man, that looks amazing. You didn't check. You just went in, said, said 18,000 in the window. It's used and you just paid 18,000. You didn't look at how many kilometers are on it. You didn't look at the tires, see if they were bald. You didn't check if there was rust in it. You didn't do anything. Obviously, you did. But the first woman that comes along, oh, and you marry her, that accountability, bro, that's your fault. So don't let anybody tell you that you can't bet and this, that, and the other. <clears throat> and once you're in that relationship, then accountability remains yours because now it's you're responsible for maintaining Betty because her personality can change. You know, um, <clears throat> they say if you really want to get to know somebody, do business with them, travel with them, or live with them. I, with the woman, you get to live with her. I, I add on that, marry her and sleep with her. You really get to see who you're married to. Now, are you going to maintain a relationship with someone who's got a bad attitude and is, is very bad for your life because of public image or whatever else? If you do, that's your own fault. People get mad at Abu America because oh, Abu America, you've been married, divorced so many times. Yeah, I don't believe in miserable marriages. That's stuff for these cultural Muslims where they walk around the streets. You see them go, go to the United Kingdom, go to London and just look at half the, uh, I'm not going to say any community names, but look at how their husbands and wife walk around just absolutely miserable you could see it on their faces why would you why would you do that to yourself your life ain't short enough it ain't hard enough you got to go come home and look like you eat a box of lemons when you see your wife just sour faced so that's your fault also for staying in a relationship with someone like that end it on your terms earlier instead of her terms later when you become the bad guy so I'm not sure if that answers your question because your question was not very clear, but um, it's always your fault, man. You know, because you're going to have to, people are going to have to take their, their destiny as far as uh, Allah has allowed us into their own hands. And you have the right, you have the self-determination and you have the ability to say, hey, you know what? This is a bad deal. I'm not going to take it or I got a bad deal. Let me go ahead and exit this as soon as possible. And if you don't, as a man, it's your fault. That's your fault. If you stay in a bad job with bad pay, bad conditions, bad management, whose fault is that? No, oh, employers, we should, are you going to become a leftist and like blame the employers? No, that's your fault. Why do you stay there? If the employer eventually loses so many people that he cannot keep people, what's he going to do? He's going to have to change something or he's going to have to go out of business. That's what you're going to have to do to these women. You can't blame anybody but yourself for staying in poor conditions, be it a relationship, a job, or whatever. Hope that answers your question. And yeah, I'm out.